Welcome back. This is a mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Oklama, an island community in the Sine East district of the Bono East region, is yet to have a decent classroom block. After many years, Stanley Nibleo reports education in the community is fraught with setbacks. Our journey to Palama was premised on challenges residents have had to endure as past governments failed to deliver on promises to develop the community. The team embarked on an hour voyage from Defo Bato. At Upalama, movement is usually restricted to those who do not own private canoes. The community is one of the neglected and desolate island settlements with a high poverty rate. Access to education and health care has been a setback to the development of the area. The urge in parents to secure formal basic education for their wards compelled them to erect this makeshift structure. But it only accommodates classes one to three pupils. The Senna East Education Directorate has absorbed the school, but teachers refuse postings to the community. Okay. Pupils who complete class three but are unable to further their education at Ketekrachi or Kajiji end up taking fishing as their profession. In the run-up to the general elections, the district assembly has intervened. The assembly is constructing a three-unit classroom block and an office complex for the school. This, when completed, would be the only decent school infrastructure in all the island communities. The news team engaged opinion leaders in a town hall meeting. Yeah, yeah, bank, kitty, kitty. Ah, I'm to me, kokrachi. Na force, yeah, do my kokrachi. Assemblyman for the area, although pleased with the assembly's intervention, believes more could be done to improve education and health in the island communities. And so ya hon a ha ni ye no e ye di. Inti wuko assembly kwa bisa, omi se, komo fa ni ba ska ye di ba abe ye adi ba kun wa hanu. Ube tu mi di a ye adi mi ye no wo land ni so. Onu inti omu mpe se ye ye development biya. O share TV, na wun hunu, as the December 7 polls draw nearer, parents have some requests. School no ya muse o musa se na so akabi school de o be si school a e o muse e ye di mu na so e se se o musi mi mi sa mi sa no kan hu na e yesis se na be ya akora no be sa se a ye mi se se keji fo na ye nyina ye be bo o mu hu modi dia e de o man no be timi abo o mu hu modi te we wa isi no o je wa de kan wa ma na light ya ja la de wo se ba si pio e no ko be wa ne no ko mu e ma ba no je be no ba je wa ka e gomet o mo fo na ye bo a wo ne ba fo me ko na ji o a ha o light ne e ye bo a o ke wa ni chi me ni wa ni wa ya ngbe mi yo ma nu aye wo kro mu amun bo aye ni wa ya ni sika Representatives of the National Democratic Congress and the new Patriotic Party say they have keen interest in the development of the island communities, but claimed accessibility remains a hindrance. Since 22, Islands communities, uh, they haven't seen any decent infrastructure just as we are doing now. You go there, you go and see the kids sitting under trees. But since MPP government took over, I'm telling you, just as we went there, you could see that there's a decent uh, infrastructure that uh, we are putting up the islands there. And that is all. We try looking at the island, we have about uh, seven communities that are hot uh, there. 
and uh, we need to provide them. Looking at the distance from one community to another, all those communities need to have at a decent uh, uh, infrastructure. So we've just begun. This is just the beginning. The island communities, you know, formerly there was no school there. We forced to put some, some schools there. And we are proud of that, we shall put school building there, build a, a good school building. But because of the change of government, we were not able to do that. So we promise you that when we come back to power, all those two we had will be done. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 3 and 4 promotes universal access to quality education and lifelong learning, as well as good health care for all by 2030. Hence, political parties must prioritize the achievement of these goals in deprived districts to engender the socio-economic transformation of the rural folk. That is the situation in Oklahoma, but that's how we wrap up our mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. This is News 360. After the break of sports, please stay with us.